welcome. This is Today in the News. First, the highlights. President Buhari says Second Niger Bridge, Lagos Ibado Expressway and other key projects will be completed before 2023. Police in Lagos warns against any planned protest to celebrate ENSA's anniversary. Zafara State Governor asks political appointees to swear by the Quran to prove their innocence. President Muhammad Buhari says the Second Niger Bridge and the Lagos Ibado Expressway will be completed before the end of his administration in 2023. President Buhari also assured that other key projects under the Presidential Infrastructure Development Front will be completed within the same period. The President gave this assurance at the opening of a two-day mid-term ministerial performance review retreat to assess progress made towards the achievement of the nine key priorities of his administration. At the event, President Buhari highlighted some of the achievements of the federal government in the past two years mostly in the areas of infrastructure, transportation, economy, electricity supply, the petroleum industry, among others. The Commission of Police in Lagos, CP Hakimo Dumosu, has warned against any planned protest in the state. The Commission of Police was quoted in a statement signed by the State Police Command spokesperson, CSP Adekunle Adishibutu, that the command had received information of a planned protest to mark one year of the NSAS protest. Adishibutu warned that the police will not hesitate to use all legal means to stop the protest from taking place following the experience of the last NSAS protests. <music> Governor Belo Matawale has urged newly sworn in secretary to the state government, commissioners, permanent secretaries, special advisers and senior special advisers to swear with the Holy Quran to prove their innocence in the activities of armed bandits and kidnappers in Zamfara. The governor gave the charge at the swearing-in of the new political appointees and senior civil servants in Gusso. He said the oath by the Quran will show him and the people of the state that the new cabinet is clean of sponsors of criminal activities. A consultant in anatomy pathology, Dr. Lugbenga Yowale, has told the corona investigating the cause of death of Lagos State Baker, Beju Ogboma, in April this year that there was an abnormal massive collection of blood in the abdominal cavity which led to hemorrhagic shock experienced by Mrs. Oboma. Chief Magistrate Mukala Fadei is presiding over the hearing at the Magistrate Court 13 Samuel Lori Courthouse in Ikeja, Lagos. Director of Public Prosecutions at the Ministry, Justice Olayin Kadiemi, presented the witness and led him in his testimony. Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Akademi says its security forces have arrested a senior member of the ISIS armed group. Sami Jassim, who is in charge of the armed group's finances, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Akademi says its security forces have arrested a senior member of ISIS armed group. Sami Jassim, who was in charge of the armed group's finances, and a deputy of slain leader Abubakar al-Baghdadi was arrested outside the country. Our academies made this known on the social media handle. He did not provide further details of the operation.